Hi, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we're talking about air dry clay. So you're going to get your bag of air dry clay, and I'm just going to open it up and take a little piece. Uh, maybe don't experiment quite yet, but I'm just going to show you how it is, what it's like. So notice I am closing the bag, and I am putting that bag inside another bag and the reason why is because this clay does get dry pretty easily and that plastic bag that it's in is not a thick bag so i'm putting it inside another bag one of those nice thick recyclable ones and twisting it and putting the twist under the bag so that it stays shut and then I'm going to put it in a high place. And the reason why is because I know that a lot of you have brothers and sisters, younger ones, and also dogs and cats. And uh, if this gets in the way, things could happen. Also with your project, even doubly more important to keep it up and out of the way. And again, inside that other bag. Okay, so the difference between stoneware and uh, air dry clay. If you look at both of them, they are identical. Um, this one does look a little bit darker, but there are many light clays, um, you know, stoneware clays. So that's really not the difference. If I squish them between my fingers, they feel the very, very same. Uh, this one, when it gets uh, wetter, it gets a little bit stickier, but really it's, it's pretty much the same in how it feels. The difference is with stoneware clay, you must fire it in a kiln. With air dry clay, you don't need to fire it. Um, however, there are pluses and minuses. Since you don't fire this air dry clay, it never gets as strong as stoneware clay when you fire it. So that's something that's very important. This clay will get about as hard as plaster, which is pretty hard, but if you make delicate pieces, uh, it can pretty easily break. So I would say, you know, try to be careful about that. Um, the other thing is that with stoneware clay, you can let it get as dry as a rock. And if you want, want to rewet it, you just put it in some water and voila, it's going to get soft. However, with this uh, air dry clay, if you leave it out too long and it gets too hard, you will never be able to reshape it, to shape it into something else. And so you really want to make sure that you keep this clay really, really soft. So that's why you store it a bag within a bag. Uh, the other thing is that with stoneware clay, you can fire it and add a glaze and it won't be porous. And what does that mean? It means that I have some water in here. I poured some water in here and it's been in here for about an hour and it's now that water is seeping out of the bottom. And so that is called the clay's porosity, how porous it is. So it's actually porous enough that it's coming out of the bottom of the container. So that is why when you have uh, this air dry clay, you cannot make objects that you drink from or eat from because of the porosity. Um, it is non-toxic. Non-toxic means that it's not poisonous. Um, you know, you can't get cancer from the, the wet clay. Um, however, you know, even though it's non-toxic, even if someone did eat it, you know, maybe they might get sick to their stomach or something. So I don't suggest uh, eating the clay. <laughs> okay, but it's good to know that, that it is uh, non-toxic. So the different stages of clay. So the first stage of clay, when we can squish the clay, is called, it's called greenware. When it's greenware stage, the greenware stage, we can make any different thing we want to make out of it, any different shape. It just squishes between our fingers. 
when you try to remember that name for that first stage, when you can make it into anything, think about grass, green grass, and think how it squishes between your, your toes. It's very squishy, just like the clay is very squishy. That could help you. And the next stage is if you leave this out for a couple of hours or a big piece of clay, if you left it out overnight, it would get to the leather hard stage. The leather hard stage is when we uh, really do the most work on the clay. Like we spend our most most of our time on that stage. And that's because this is the time when we can really smooth the clay. It's a little bit harder. So if we touch it gently, it doesn't smush out of shape. So that's a nice stage. You can use your paper clip to, you know, carve uh, whiskers into here, um, carve words, you know, that kind of thing uh, really, really easily. And it doesn't uh, malform. The clay doesn't get all, you know, squishy. So that's the next stage. The stage after that is called bone dry. And this, at this bone dry stage, it's really, really hard. You can't do much at all to make it into a different shape or anything like that. I had a teacher and I remember he said, the only thing that you can do to something at the bone dry stage is to break it okay because if you just barely touch something it can it can break pretty easily all right that's the end of this part